Good morning everyone, it's Diana and I'm back here with another video <laughs> about cleaning my place. This time though, I'm focusing more on my closet. Don't come for me, it's dry skin, not a booger. So I've taken about two weeks off of posting on my YouTube channel, which I'm not very proud of like personally <laughs> but I feel like I needed to because I wasn't very um just wasn't very camera ready if that made sense like I just couldn't be happy or couldn't make myself seem excited on video hey everyone editing Diana here uh it's been a lot longer since my last video and that's just because I was feeling good and I filmed this video and I was gonna post it and then literally this was filmed March 7th and then like a few days after that when I was supposed to sit down and edit and post it um, the whole quarantine shutdown everything happened so <laughs> that's where I'm at with this right now um, I'm trying to get back into it but Regardless, this is a video where I clean my closet. My closet's still clean, yay me. Um, and I thought I would just post it. All right, back to the video. <laughs> Bye. But I'm in a better place today. So I finally felt like cleaning. <laughs> um, and so my closet, which is usually pretty clean and I keep it organized, has turned into kind of chaos right now. So that's kind of what I want to focus this video on today. So this is <laughs> what... My bedroom looks like it's pretty bare which is what I like I won't go into that too much but as you can see there is a pile of clothes right there on my bed and that is because I don't like putting any of my laundry on the ground except for that sock <laughs> that's dirty um, as soon as it touches the ground I'm kind of like it's dirty even though I just washed it so let me see if I can get a full <laughs> showdown of my closet so essentially before I go to bed I just move this whole lump into my closet I don't have a lot of clothes it's just that I haven't been keeping on top of it so what I'm going to do first is do my laundry that I need because I have some dirty clothes in my hamper that need to be put back up so I'm gonna wash that do some stuff and then I'll be back here and probably worse lighting <laughs> back <laughs> after a bit of time a mental breakdown babysitting visiting parents I'm back to finish cleaning I just put my stuff in the dryer and now I'm just gonna go ahead and get to the actual organizing part what I generally like to do first is hang everything that needs to be hung and then whatever's left over I kind of organize between what can be folded and then what else needs to be hung or could be hung generally I like most of my stuff to be hung up anyways it's just easier to organize <laughs> but uh, what's not hung up is um, folded into categories so like tank tops sweatpants jeans leggings so forth and so forth so let me get to that <laughs>
Okay, so this basically took me about half an hour to fold and it'll take me like less than five minutes to all put back, but I just wanted to quickly show you what my sections were <laughs> and how I organized my clothes. Pajama stuff that I sleep in. These are just kind of shirts and tank tops that are colored and... <laughs> what color is there, Diana? What the fuck? that I wear a lot, leggings and fitness wear, leisure wear, that I don't wear too often. <laughs> um, these are like, not onesies, what are they called? <laughs> they hook, <laughs> they clasp in the crotch area, what is it called? I guess like a one piece. I don't really know, they're like a type of material that's really hard to fold, so they kind of slip around. These are just long sleeve shirts, um, big thick sweaters, black, t-shirts and then these are just some of my casual sweaters that I wear quite often and that aren't as thick as the thick sweaters. Clothes are hung up. My underwear drawer. I like to organize my underwear drawer just because I don't know it <laughs> makes me feel better. I have my good underwear and the underwear that I wear when I'm run out of laundry or clean underwear. <laughs> now I'm just gonna put everything back in there and then I'm all done. Bed is clean, closet is clean and organized and ready for the week. <laughs> That's it for this video. The nice clean closet back there. I do plan on selling most of my clothes, not most, but you know, some of my stuff on Poshmark or Depop. I need to kind of do more research and see what's better for sellers in Canada. If you want an update on that, I'm going to leave a link down below for whatever app I use um, and then also do updates on my Instagram if you want to follow me there. It's at diana.coric. I know how expensive plus size clothing can be in Canada. I thought why not pay for it and sell most of my clothes for a reasonable price. I'd rather it go to someone who needs it rather than a thrift store that might end up just throwing it away eventually if it never gets bought. Anyway guys, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next week. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.